Enjoy! Key Point Federal Credit Union serves the entire community throughout a poor parish area, pointing the way to financial success. You can join! Benefit from lower loan rates, higher deposit rates, and loan rebates from a full-service lending institution. You can join! Enjoy the convenience of savings, ATMs, internet banking, and bill payer services. Members are key. Service is the point. Key Point Federal Credit Union. You can join. The athlete relies on more than 400 bones and joints. And when they don't work together, you can trust one team that's equally committed to keeping you in the game. At the Bone and Joint Clinic of Baton Rouge, our dedicated sports medicine physicians work with athletes every day to make healing as painless and simple as possible. Because we know where you'd rather be. It's time to move up to the luxury of Long Ridge, a gated luxury community featuring beautiful landscaped grounds, pools, executive business center, and state-of-the-art fitness center. Each unit features nine-foot ceilings, ceiling fans, kitchen with microwave, utility room with washer and dryer, a garden tub in the back, walk-in closet, and a private patio or balcony for entertaining your guests. Explore living beyond the ordinary. Come home to Long Ridge Luxury Apartments, just off Sherwood, across from Piccadilly. Imagine a sale that can bring your style to life for less. The Bassett Anniversary Sale. Save throughout the store on pieces for every room in your home. Delivered in a remarkable 30 days. Bring your style to life with our new introductions and in-home design service. Save store-wide and take advantage of special financing. The Bassett Anniversary Sale. Save up to 25% store-wide. Sale ends soon. Welcome back to Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I'm your host, Lee Burkeen. I want to tell you to call us if you're in Lafayette. Use 225, actually, to call us here at uh, 499-8255. That's 499-8255. And we'd love to hear from you. If you've got a playoff prediction, if you want to call about your school, your son, your team, uh, give us a, a, a call. I did leave a couple of teams out that I need to mention. U High uh, has got a good team, Barrett Bailey. Uh, a lot of good players on that team that have done a phenomenal job. Coach Shoptal has a good, good team. They have a chance to go uh, a few, few games in. And Episcopal and Clinton, three teams row in the same district that are all in the playoffs locally here in Baton Rouge that have a good chance of winning. Uh, Roe Brown. Libra King. Glad you made it. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I know me. New Orleans, it seems it's, it's <clears throat> far, but it's not far. No. But it is. But I'm glad that you drove up tonight to, to be on the show. My pleasure. Um, you know, I, I'm honored that you would ask. Oh, look, <laughs> let, me, let me introduce <laughs> Roe. Roe Brown is very, being very modest. Been in the business how many years now? 30. 30 years. A sportscaster. Give or take a few. A producer. Maybe more than 30, yeah. Knows a lot of the Saints' dads. Uh, been around since <laughs> the Saints were in New Orleans. Uh, um, but you had a. Uh, you came well, around long enough. That's you right. Know, that's you you meet everybody. Yeah, you know. You know. Uh, but you do WGSO radio on Friday nights with Ken Trahan. Yeah, Ken Trahan's original prep football report. Bring a high school coach in every week from New Orleans for the show. Yes. Cheerleaders, uh, band. Yeah, I do my part at Wild Cafe and Wingery. You know, the countdown, and you know, it's a real fun thing where we have a school every week, a featured school that. They come in and, you know, alums come in, players, former players, current players. It's fun. The excitement of yep. the schools. And then um, you're also a producer of uh, Inside the Huddle with the Saints. Outside the Huddle. Outside. It's I'm a sorry. Saints. Outside. It's okay. It's a Saints community affair show that airs on Cox Sports Television, the regional sports channel here. And, uh, you know, it, it's fun to do. It's some football, but it's really a, well, I'll say it. it's kind of a propaganda show. So, I <laughs> so the Saints can show how much they're doing in the community, which is fine, right, which right. is cool. That's what it is. Yeah, we do that. We also do, uh, I work for a company called Event Producers. We produce that. We produce uh, the Sunbelt Conference's uh, regional cut-ins for their ESPN regional games. We actually okay. do the cut-ins in New Orleans and then okay. ship them to the site. I always wondered. Uh -huh, now I know. Right. Yeah, and I knew you. I didn't even know you were doing it. Yeah, that's how we do that. They don't go to Bristol, Connecticut for the regional games, so okay. we handle the, the, the time. The power shows. of technology. Yeah. You know. 
the technology and also Federal Express, I guess, since you guys ship it to us. Now, you also <laughs> know one of the guys here that does camera, does a lot of the producing in the background. You want to? The legendary Sailor Jackson. And, yep. and Sailor, you, you think I've been in the business long. Sailor's <laughs> been in it longer than I have, okay? You know, uh, tremendously talented guy, tremendous guy. You know, he's worked out. Everybody in Baton Rouge here knows him. I mean, I'm not telling him anything yeah. they don't know. And people in Baton Rouge and all over the state know him. Now, you were a part of the uh, Southern show with the legendary Otis, Otis Washington. Washington with right, Sam, I hosted right? his show for two years, 1984 and 85. What was yeah. that like working with Otis? It was fun because I knew him, I covered him during his time at St. Augustine uh, when he was there. You know, when he, of course, won three state titles in 75, 78, 79. And then uh, he went to LSU and eventually became the head coach at Southern. And so it was, you know, he, he's a good friend of mine who lives here in Baton Rouge still. And so it was it was easy to do because, I mean, it was him and because I had people like Sailor Jackson working on the show. You know, and they made I'd, it easy for me. if I'd have known that, I'd have brought or called Otis. I didn't know there's a connection there. Oh, but yeah. We're yeah, going to have yeah. to do we, that ooh, next yeah, time. We we're going to have back. to. Yeah. We go back a long way. <laughs> and uh, you also did a, uh, uh, for the black football uh, uh the whole yeah, there was a country, yeah, a black right. college football show. Yeah, it was. Uh, now, was that Sailor locally when you did that? One? Yeah, and it, it was produced here, Sailor and guys like you know the late Greg Burchell, of course, yes. who did a lot of stuff yes. here in Southern. You know, Al Eastman, who you know is one of the great photographers I think, you know, sports photographers I've ever seen. Uh, worked for NFL Films, may still be working for NFL Films for all I know. But you know, all those guys produced the show, and uh, hey, yeah. They know what they're doing, and it yeah. was just really easy to do. And you love the business. You love high school football, obviously. I mean, you still go to games well, like and look it. at talent. You oh, still yeah, go yeah, look yeah, at Yeah, players. yeah. You know, high school football, it's my favorite level of football. And the reason why is because of teams that you mentioned, like South Plaquemine. Mm -hmm. I, like a, I like to see, I mean, I enjoy and I appreciate and I love watching, you know, 300-pound linemen. But I like seeing a 145-pound nose guard. Right. You know, it's hard, it's yeah. just fun to see. The underdog. Know, it's, it, exactly. You know, it's just fun to see. It's high school football and high school sports just in general, I think, is just, it's still, it's still kind of pure despite mm -hmm. some places where it may mm -hmm. not be as pure. But for me, it's just, you know, when you watch it, it's just, it's kind of pure to me. When you compare it like boxing, when you see this guy that has fought in three fights, he's, you know, 142 and mm -hmm. he's fighting a guy 168 that's 40 and 0. And yeah, yeah. They'd say, this guy's going to lose. He yeah. can't beat him. But yeah. high school football, football yeah, yeah. it's Everybody. never a done deal. Exactly. Never. Exactly. It's, and, and that's what I like about it. I mean, it's just, it's just the whole atmosphere of it and the whole feel of it. I, was in, it's, I always look at it as, I still look at it as just children engaged in an extracurricular activity. Because right. people have always asked me, you know, who am I picking in this game? I don't pick high school games. You know, I don't pick right. winners and losers. And, right. you know, it, it's, you know, I'm not going to sit there and root against somebody's child. Yeah. Really, they're all winners. <laughs> yeah. They're all you know, winners I, in the it's end. Just, that's how I've always looked at it. So that's why I can enjoy it so much. Right, right. And, and look, I want to I was in Boston, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and watched my nephew play uh, uh, for Valley Forge Prep School, Zach Payne, and Morgan Scala, a kid from Uhio locally. and. It was their Larry last Ford. ball game. Larry Fitzgerald, right? Wasn't that his team? That was his school. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Jeff Oda went in the first round this year with the mm -hmm. Dolphins. Um, Gary Stills, who's in the NFL with the Ravens. Mm -hmm. But they were playing a school named Worcester out of Worcester, Massachusetts. It was about 50 degrees. It, Warm. The temperature, though, was lowering every five <laughs> minutes of the game. There were no cheerleaders. There was no band. But it was great football. Uh -huh. But the, it, uh -huh. they... They seen the, the the people from the south that went down five family members. We were screaming and yelling and, in a good way, uh -huh. and they looked at us they like we were from another planet. <laughs> <laughs> One well, dad touched me from Pittsburgh. He said, "You know, we grew up outside of Three Rivers Stadium. We stay. We all stay another day. We can just hang around you for football. <laughs> you go out and tailgate. With right, you. right. And we watched the uh, LSU game uh, at, a, at an mm -hmm. Irish uh, restaurant." They gave us the TVs. They wanted the Red Sox to start back again. They didn't care about college football. <laughs> so we got all the TVs to be able to watch the game. We'll be back in just a moment with more. Yep. Bro, we're going to come back and talk about the Saints, okay. your show, okay. and talk about some of the dads that have kids that play now in high school football that you'll know these names of these dads. We'll be back in just a moment with more Louisiana Football TV Magazine. 